we have uh, we've had a wild weather day, haven't we? We have. So I wanted to kind of look back at November so far. I mean, we were 81 yesterday, right. and today we're 35 degrees colder. So that's the warmest temperature of the month. That's also the warmest of any day in November. Yesterday, the coldest we've been is 22 on the 12th and 15th. And surprisingly, you might think this is one of the warmest Novembers ever. It's only coming in about 10th place so really? far. Really? Yeah. Huh. And as far as moisture, just a trace of snow on the 7th, the 8th, and the 21st. Tide as the second least snowy with seven other years. But we did pick up about a third of inch of rain. So Terrific. it won't even go in the record books as far as one of the driest, but certainly one of the least snowy. And I don't think we'll see any snow coming up here in the next couple of days. So 46 today, 29 has been the low. The record 72 and 10 below and the normals 46 and 20. So a lot closer to where it should be today compared to yesterday. Right now we are at 29 at the airport, 34 degrees downtown. Pressure's falling slightly. Winds a bit breezy out of the south southeast at 13 miles per hour. Take a big view. You can see where all the really cold air is. And even this isn't particularly cold for this time of year over northern Canada. But what's happening at the jet stream level, the wind's up at about uh, 20,000 feet. We have a westerly flow. It's a little ripply at times, but it's blocking the colder air up in central Canada. And what we get here are just some weaker Pacific cold fronts coming in off the Pacific coast. They dump, dump a lot of rain in the Pacific Northwest, but by the time they get here, they don't bring much. Just a little bit of a cool down, and that's what we just had. And there'll be another weak front passing by, it looks like, by the time we get to Thursday. A little bit stronger one arrives early next week, but we're not getting the really cold stuff. So tonight down to about 25 degrees here, 17 expected at Gunnison and at Alamosa along the front range, mainly looking mid 20s to low 30s at lower elevations, 20s expected the mountains. Tomorrow, skies will start with a few scattered high clouds, and they'll finish that way in the afternoon. No weather to speak of across the area, though, just those high clouds. Temperatures up just a little bit, about 55 here in the Denver area, some low 60s down to the southeast. Front range looking 45 Winter Park and Grand Lake, mid to upper 50s over most of the metro, some low 60s down to the south and west. Overnight tonight, mostly clear, chilly, and 25 degrees for tomorrow. High temperature getting up to about 55, partly cloudy skies expected. More of the same for Thursday. A minor little Pacific front goes by, so slightly cooler. Then for Friday, warmer, 60. Warm for the weekend, sunny, mild, no 80s, but certainly 60s feel pretty good for early December. And then a slightly stronger storm comes in Monday into Tuesday. That one could bring us a little bit of snow, but still not seeing a big pattern change that will put us into a real cold, snowy situation. Uh -huh.